Cerebrus precatorius, also known as bee vine, coral bee, coral bee plant, licorice vine, crab's eye, love bin, prayer beads, lucky bin creeper, precatory pea, prayer bin, red bead vine, rosary pea, rosary bin, weather vine, weather plant, black eyed Susan, Indian licorice, coral bead plant, Gquirity, Jamaican licorice, Gquirity bean, Jumble beads and jumbi beads is the genus in the flowering plants that belongs to the pea family Fabaceae. These branching, deciduous vines are chiefly native to India and tropical Asia. The seeds produced by this plant is extremely poisonous, but is used to make jewelry and to treat various health ailments. White and red are the two varieties of crab's eye. As the sizes of the seeds are uniform, it is used as standards weight measurement. The seeds are used as a treatment for headache, paralysis, dysentery, ulcer, nervous disorder and alopecia. It possess sexual stimulant, antidomer, antibacterial, antidiabetic and anti-inflammatory properties. In traditional medicine, it is used to cure the wounds, sores and scratches made by mice, cats and dogs. When the seeds are injected, it is hundred times minor harmful in comparison to taken by mouth. This plant is annual woody, climber, branching and deciduous vine which grows up to 10 meters long. Leaves are pear pinnate, sub oblong, 1 2 by 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 cm and pale green. The leaflets are oblong, 2.5 cm long and 1.5 cm wide. The stems are slender and branched. The small flowers are pink, lavender or white. The fruits are elliptic pods which is 4 cm long, dehiscent and turgid. The pods possess 3 to 8 seeds which are subglobose, scarlet red and 6 to 7 mm, less than 1 inch, long. Crab's eye has poisonous seeds which are red in color but white seeds are also found. The other parts of the plant are used for various medicinal purposes. The leaf acts as an aid for body inflammation and wounds. The grinded seeds in rice water help to treat premature hair loss and skin imperfection. Leaves are used on gum for the mouth sores and to prepare the preparations of skin cancer. The tea made from leaves is a cure for colds, fevers and coughs. In Yurveda, the plant is used to promote hair growth. It is also used as ingredient in the Indian hair product. In Afghanistan, the dried seeds are used orally as aphrodisiac. In Brazil, the root and dried leaves are used orally as a tonic for nerves. In Cambodia, the extract made from hot water and seeds are used orally to treat malaria. Central African tribes use the chewing of root as an aid for snake bites, seeds orally to treat the intestinal worms and the dose of 200 mg is helpful for 13 menstrual cycles. East African use decoction made from aerial parts of the plant to help treat gonorrhea. They use the juice of fresh leaves as an aid for stomach problems, bilharziasis and used as an emetic. The powdered form of leaves is used in swellings and cuts. The leaf decoction is used for the chest pains. The steam of boiling leaves helps to cure inflamed eyes. The extract of dried seeds is used for infections. In Guam, men use the leaf pulp as aphrodisiac and women use it to ease childbirth. Haiti tribes takes the leaf decoction orally to help street flu and coughs. Indians use the water extract made from dried roots and leaves for eye ailments in Ayurvedic medicine, seeds are used as abortifacient, and the decoction made from dried seeds helps to promote abortion. Tiwanis use the dried root decoction to cure hepatitis and bronchitis. In West Indies, the root is used to cure snake bites. Seeds are considered as emetic, purgative and anthelmintic. In using this plant, you must have consider this some precautions. The high dose of crab's eye causes vomiting and diarrhea, stomach cramps, tachycardia, cold sweats, coma and nausea. The powdered seeds unpurified, if used on wounds provide toxic effects. The excessive use of roots causes vomiting. It should be avoided by pregnant or lactating women and children less than 5 years of age. The seeds possess abran, which is fatal to both children and adults. 
the long use results in anemia and raises the white blood cells. It might slow down the clotting of blood. It lowers the blood sugar. It increases the chances of bleeding so one should stop using it before two weeks of surgery. The contact with seed infusion damages eye, conjunctivitis and may result to blindness. If you learn something new in this video, give this video a like and share it with your friend. And here is another video I think you will enjoy, just click on the left or in the right. And remember, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.